Hi, I'm Sue Donino, and we're here at the Vero Beach Community Center. And as you can see, something big is going on. And that something big is the six panel expansion of the Vero Beach Mural. The first six panels, created a decade ago, encompass the history of the Treasure Coast in general and Vero Beach in specific. The section being completed now encompasses the habitats, the ecological environments from the wetlands to the ocean, the wildlife, the quaint downtown area. Today we're interviewing the artists, Christine Thomas, Don Mill, and Judy Bergarella. So Judy, what's the planning process like for a project of this scale? Well, fortunately, uh, Dawn Mill, who's the project manager, had worked on the previous mural uh, that was done in 2001. And uh, she was experienced in what we needed, you know, in the manner of supplies and equipment. So where did you start? I mean, did, in a corner and you worked out or you start in the middle and... We actually started by lining them up on uh, a bunch of tables uh, on an angle. And we mapped out the sky, and uh, it was Christine's suggestion we, we roller the sky in with the blue and then scumble the clouds in uh, very quickly so that we'd have a, a good portion of the panel done within a, a day or two. Judy, I know you live in Sebastian. What made you decide to dedicate so much of your personal time to a project for Vero Beach? It's not just for the city of Vero Beach, it's for the art club. And I've been a member of the art club now for six years. I joined it when I first moved down here. And I did live in Vero Beach for the first year. And I love this area. I, I love the flora and the fauna. Uh, I love being a part of the arts. It's a very vibrant, exciting place to be at, especially at this time in my life. And uh, I want to give back. That's true. I've seen the blog, was that your idea? Yeah, I actually started um, keeping a journal in the beginning. Uh, I, I just wanted to track the hours we were spending on it and uh, what were the highlights of the day. And then I realized, well, you know, a blog is a good way to do that. And then you could share that with other members of the club, members of the community, and people who just like art. I know that you have a personal interest in American Indians. I see you have an American Indian robe in the mural. What's that all about? Well, that actually, uh, that robe was created by um, a Seminole in Indian in the Brighton Reservation. And the man wearing the robe is Judge Stikeleather. And he was a judge on the bench in Indian River County Courthouse for uh, 15 or so years. And uh, he was very honored to wear that robe made by his friend on the Brighton Reservation. And uh, it now hangs in a glass case uh, in the Indian River County Courthouse for all to view. And it's a beautiful piece of work, and it's a beautiful piece of art. It is beautiful, and you did a beautiful job on it. Thank you. Who are the other people in the mural? Well, aside from Judge Stike Leather, who was shown from the back, um, on his left is Amelie Loy, who is a staunch supporter of uh, the arts of Vero Beach. And she is a prominent figure. In fact, the new um, Chamber of Commerce building is named after her. And next to her is the uh, current mayor, Jay Kramer. And next to him is a second generation highwayman, Ray McClendon. What do you think is the most important contribution you yourself have made to this mural? Well, of course, I bring my talent and experience and, uh, and my passion for painting, which I hope is conveyed in the mural. And uh, what a wonderful place Vero Beach is. I know that the Vero Beach Art Club is sponsoring this project. You're a member? Yeah, so I've been a member of Vero Beach Art Club for about five or six years, been on the board of directors as secretary. Well, tell me about the art club's relationship with the city. Oh, we have a great relationship with the city. Uh, work with Rob Slezak on different venues, such as Under the Oaks Art Show that brings in about 80,000 people to the area. Rob was the one that uh, came to us and asked us to continue the panels that had already been started. Well, do you have any idea how much a project like this is costing the art club? Several thousand dollars. Well, that's a great donation, huh? Yes, it is. You're spending a lot of time here at the community center. Is it a special place for you? Oh, well, it has memories. My uh, daughters, Stephanie and Tracy, were born in Vero Beach. They performed on stage here, uh, d dance recitals, recitals from the school they went to. Did that influence you in your decision to, to take on this project? My main reason 
was just the honor of being part of this, part of the history. Uh, Judy and I were kidding that we'll be little old ladies coming in here together saying we did that 20 years ago. <laughs> and it's good for, you know, and that was part of the other reason were, you know, the, the people coming in the future to see, you know, what's in the, in the panels. We've tried to incorporate, you know, endangered species, uh, species that are on the threatened list, not just the animals, but also some of the plants. And I think that's, that's very important for, for children to see as well. Uh, so what are you going to do when the mural's completed? We'll probably um, get a bottle of champagne, <laughs> have a party, uh, go through withdrawal, because we're going to miss it. We really are going to miss it. Are you the project manager of the update? Uh, yes, I am, because I was one of the um, artists on the original mural. We felt it would be more consistent to have someone who had worked on that mural so that both murals have a consistency and look as well as theme. So we started off with the first panel being um, the downtown Vero Beach and then we worked from there into the Pine Flats, the Hardwood Forest, the, um, the Cypress Swamp and from there we went on to Mangrove Swamps and Deep Lagoon and then the dune region, and then we now have the reef. Well, how do you see the community benefiting from this project? We designed it as a teaching tool because in this county, the students at either third grade, fourth grade, or fifth grade learn about the history of in, uh, Indian River County. So we designed it so that a teacher could come in here and it was a timeline for the first mural. You started off with the earliest history and then ended up with the year 2000. The new mural will be all the habitats and they'll be designed, it, designed so that each individual habitat has a variety of flora and fauna in it. And we also designed the mural so that it will have a legend to it so that the teachers can just show the legend and describe each individual part to the students. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, what's the medium you're using here? Primarily acrylic because it's fast drying and I enjoy doing ac acrylic painting. And in this case, with such a large mural, we need to have something that was fast drying that we could paint over and change as we go. You know, working with other artists had to be a trick. How did that, how did that work out? Well, actually, it was a lot of fun. Most artists work either in their studio or out on location all by themselves. So it's very nice when you're working with a group of artists. Not only is it a lot of fun and you're comparing paints and you're comparing styles and techniques and you can ask questions of each other, you may find that you have a problem with your painting and you're looking at that painting and you can't understand what the problem is. You can ask one of the other artists and chances are they're going to look at it and they'll find the problem. It's that different set of eyes that's really nice to have on hand. And what's next on your schedule? Probably be more paintings of Vero Beach. I'm also going to be in Under the Oaks, and I'm currently in the Artist Guild Gallery as well, so I show my work around town. Oh, great, well, we'll see you there. Okay, thanks. Ziegler from the Vera Beach Art Club and I, want, I am here to present the people that have done this wonderful job of creating these murals and the two the three people are Dawn Mill to my right, Judy Bergarella to my right and Christine Thomas and I'm here to, add, to wrap up this project and I would like to ask them how they feel now that the the project is over and do, is there some things they miss or do they want to continue? And I'd just like to hear from them. I have to, oh. uh, well, we did have a good time doing this over the past year. And uh, we did suffer withdrawal when we stopped. You know, it was two, days, full, two full days a week for over a year. And we do plan on coming back and tweaking a little bit here and there. Uh, and giving the uh, mural a coating, but uh, we we forged some terrific friendships uh, that are going to last the rest of our lives, as I hope the murals do. <laughs> <laughs> and
And this, and this is Dawn, Dawn Mill. He, she's the manager of the project. We really enjoyed working on the project. I, I had so much fun with these girls. I am going to miss it. It's uh, a, a wonderful tribute, I think, to Vero Beach. And um, hopefully everybody will enjoy it as much as we do. And Christine Thomas? As they both said, we really had a ball here together. We had a lot of fun. I'm glad it wasn't taped most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and we did go through withdrawal. And we may come back and tweak. We may be back here with our walkers someday. You know, but uh, this was such a joy. And I appreciate being part of it. It's such a gift to the Vera Beach that they uh, really appreciate it, as you can hear from all these people. And thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thanks, and we really enjoyed it.